Hello, everybody. It's Paul Neeson with the Raw Life Health Show, and we are about to take off and get on a plane uh, in a couple of days, and we are going to Rome, Italy, and South Africa. If you or anyone you know that is out there that knows us or that knows about raw food, uh, let them know about us. Let them know we're coming out. Tell them to contact us through our Facebook page. Uh, me and my wife and, and my little baby are going, and we're just going to have a great time. So we're really excited about that. Uh, which leads me to today's topic. Today's topic is something I saw that almost makes me glad I'm leaving the country for a little while. Now, I'm not one of those people that hate this country. I actually love the United States of America. I can't say the same thing about the leaders, uh, but I love the country. I, I've traveled all over the world and I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I live in the most beautiful state in the world and uh, that is the Sunshine State uh, in Florida. But there's something that is just an example of what goes on today in today's, or in this country, and in some other countries as well, that's just, you know, a couple of weeks ago I posted some videos and I just almost left me speechless, but I want to say this one takes the cake, but I don't want anyone to take any cake, especially after re reading this story. Uh, one of the things we have, or one of the issues we have, is never being satisfied with what we have. And food is no different. You know, you get some, you want more. You get some, you want more. Uh, all you can eat places are just still not enough for people. They just, they're not satisfied, they leave. They go to an all you can eat place, they eat all they can eat, and they're not satisfied, they want something else. It's, it's a society, we love. the mass consumption of the world we live in today is no reason why we have more books today on the, on the topic of diet than ever before in the history of man and losing weight than ever before in the history of man, but we have more obese people than ever before. You get obese by being a glutton, and that's it. Well... There are some advocates out there today and some organizations that want to stop this. So they're telling people to eat a low-fat diet, not to eat too much sugar. Things that, common things that are known to cause uh, disease, they're telling people to avoid. But there are other people on the other spectrum of this that they want to uh, capitalize on this and they want to make money off people's uh, inability or, or not the people that don't have any, how could I say, uh, lack of discipline maybe uh, when it comes to uh, stopping uh, putting uh, let me put it this way uh, more people commit suicide on a daily basis with a knife and a fork than a gun I mean is that plain <laughs> is, is, uh, or how about this one more people commit suicide with a with a with a stick in their mouth or smoke stick in their mouth than they do with a bomb uh, so you know it just goes on and on and on and uh, you know, the government wants to fight terrorism. Well, why don't they fight what's killing more people than terrorism? And that's people terrorizing their own bodies with their diet. You know, I think people should start using chopsticks. They can't pick up as much food as they can with the fork. Maybe their hands will get tired from using the chopsticks so much. The fork is just making things lazy for them. And a the spoon. They're just putting spoonfuls and spoonfuls of things in their mouth. Uh, but here it is, everybody. I'm, I'm going to get right to it. This is a true story. Uh, hard to believe, but maybe not. It appears in Las Vegas, wonderful Las Vegas, where you can eat all you want to eat and still go and get more food to eat. Uh, in Las Vegas, there's actually a, a restaurant called the Heart Attack Grill. The Heart Attack Grill. And in this restaurant, the owner walks around, he's dressed in a doctor's suit. And the waitresses are dressed like nurses. And it's just a theme or a gimmick, just like Vegas is and everything in Vegas. And, and so they have this little theme there, which is, I mean, if it was some type of health restaurant and the doctors were walking around and the nurses, that might be one thing, but the heart attack grill and doctors and nurses. Well, apparently they have a burger, a big burger, uh, called the Triple Bypass Burger. And the nurse comes and serves it to you and, and, and gives you this burger. That's a Triple Bypass Burger. And it's just, you know, something, you know something's bad, ha bad about to happen when you hear all this. Well, it finally happened. What happened was uh, a guy went in there a couple days ago, last week, whenever it was. He ate this burger. And he had a heart attack. And they caught it on film. I mean, some guy was there with a cell phone and uh, between uh, shoving food in his mouth, he took out his cell phone and he started uh, filming this. And, and they actually caught it on film. 
Of course, the nurses didn't know what to do because they weren't real nurses, and the doctors didn't know what to do because they weren't real doctors, no, <laughs> because they weren't real doctors either. So they call 911, and they take the guy away, and uh, I don't know what happened to the guy. I guess he's, he's still okay, but the heart attack real. Somebody has a heart attack. I mean, this is almost, uh, it's not funny because anytime somebody says a heart attack, it's not funny, but this reminds me of the story of Wendy's, when the guy that owned Wendy's had a heart attack. Uh, and, and Wendy's is, is, is not as bad as McDonald's and these other places, believe it or not. I mean, I haven't seen Ronald McDonald lately. I wonder where he is. Hmm. Uh, he's in Vegas. That's where he is. Uh, but he's in Circus LA. And he's going on his breaks to the Heart Attack Grill. The Heart Attack Grill. Let's just see how many calories this was. Let's just read the story here a little. Uh, the Heart Attack Grill in Las Vegas is proud of its name. It warns the customers, this establishment is bad for your health. Basically, uh, what happened was when the guy came in, the nurses gave him a, a burger that's going to cause a heart attack because it was so unhealthy. Well, they mimic the hospital in just about every way possible because that's what they do with the hospital food in the hospital. They'll give you some junk food, microwave food that's so bad for your health, the nurse will bring it in a room. You have a heart attack. Don't worry, the doctors are right there to make money. I mean to help you. Uh, so uh, it says, uh, a customer at the restaurant while eating a 6,000 calorie burger called the Triple Bypass Burger was stricken with an apparent heart attack. And, and here's the funny part, you know, uh, a lot of the patrons around there, the people that were eating there, they thought it was part of an act. You know, Vegas is all about these shows. They thought it was just part of the act. Oh, this is supposed to happen. This is what's going to happen. So, so the people just sat around. I mean, I, some of them might have clapped. Oh, good job. It looked real. It was real. The guy was eating a 6,000 calorie burger. I mean, and I'm sure that wasn't what he ate all day. I'm sure he didn't go all day. He woke up in the morning and he said, I'm quite hungry, but I'm going to wait because this evening I'm going to go to this heart attack grill and have a 6,000 calorie burger. So I'm going to fast today. So my appetite's really good. No, I doubt that happened. The guy probably woke up and went to another Vegas establishment and had an all-you-can-eat buffet for breakfast. Uh, then I'm sure at lunchtime he didn't say, well, I better quit on lunch because I'm going to go eat this 6,000 thousand calorie burger this evening so I'm gonna just skip lunch or just have something very, no I'm sure he went and had something pretty crazy and then finally he gets there at nighttime his prized possession a six thousand calorie let me put it this way folks I hardly even eat that much in a week six thousand calories that's insane but that's what this person did and I mean a heart attack I want to know what your comment is about this, everybody. Uh, you know, put your questions below the video uh, or your comments and your answers, and, and let's see what you think about this. And uh, 6,000 calories. While I'm flying uh, across the country on a plane, I'll be thinking about this and be thinking about you. We're heading to Rome, Italy. Talk about all you can eat. We're heading to Rome, Italy, right? And uh, then we're going to South Africa. I don't know what to expect in South Africa, but I'll have my video camera and make sure that you're kept abreast of everything that's going on. All right, everybody. Thanks for checking us out. Until then, have a great day and a great raw life. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life, brighten up your life.